Hi, this is Brandon I. Brooks, Managing Editor with the LA Sentinel Newspaper and the LA Watch Times Newspaper. We are here at the 48th Annual NAACP Image Awards Red Carpet, and I have a phenomenal woman in my presence, and also a phenomenal young brother in my presence. I have Miss Courtney Kemp, the creator of one of the hottest shows, if not the hottest, on television, Power. You know, I have to cue it up right. So tell us about this show, and before I go any further, introduce yourself too, brother, and tell us, you know, why are you here today? I'm Brandon Victor Dixon from Hamilton the Musical and I've joined season four of Power. So I'm here with Courtney today to celebrate the show, celebrate her work. Well, I appreciate that. I was going to say that might be an exclusive because have you premiered? Have you been on the show thus far? Oh, the show, he hasn't been seen. Okay, so that's, a, that, that's, that, that's why I had to, I know. You know, I just wanted to feel yeah, the special yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. stills of a brother up on online. Yeah. <laughs> Well, look, let's stick on the show with Power and this great cast, and it's you. Starting with you, Courtney, tell us, how did you create this? How did this come about? This show is phenomenal. Thank you. Um, it was a combination of something I was working on, because my father passed away in 2011, and I really, uh, thank you, and I really need to write about him. And 50 and Mark Canton were coming together to try to make a, a TV show. They didn't have a showrunner. And I didn't have a thousand pound gorilla. So you put those two things together. And 50 and I got along immediately. We were very lucky that our creative synergy has just been great. So from there. Now you brother, you have you joined this phenomenal story, this cast. Tell us how you got involved with it and tell us about the character and what's coming up. Uh, I mean the way I got involved is actually, you know, Courtney came and she 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 spent an evening at Hamilton the musical. I got a call two days later, we met and we had one of the best meetings I've ever had in my life. And what's wonderful is that I got to join her glorious show, but more than that, she's become a fantastic friend and I'm glad I get to be here and support her, and support her work. Uh, that is actually what I saw him as Aaron Burr and I was like, oh, this is happening. <laughs> this is happening right now, yeah. Well, let me even stick with you on that question. For someone to see you and be able to see you in probably different lights, but she obviously, you were captivating in that role. Tell us, what do you bring to the table as an actor? How do you bring different characters out that maybe you're not typecast? Because she obviously saw that this brother has layers. I'm about to bring him over to power. But, but you know, how do you approach these roles in Hamilton to power? That, that's night and day. So how do you do it? With everything, you approach it with truth, honesty, and light. I mean, that for me, that's what it's about. And grounding the truth of the character in the truth of myself. Because no matter how far you go, you'll never be able to divorce yourself from the character. So really, that's what I look for. And then when you've got really well-written material, it makes it all that much easier. Easier to, to, to blend and to, to, to lift the layers and the colors of the work. So she's made it easy. I will say, one of the things that's central to the character of Burr is that he won't commit. He won't come out and say, I feel this way or I don't feel this way. And so I thought to myself as I was watching, what if I gave this brother something to say, a specific point of view? What would it look like? And so that's kind of where it came from for me. Before I let you go, diversity is a big issue in Hollywood. It's always been a big issue. To see a woman, a black woman, and you know, you doing what you're doing, give advice to young directors, writers who want to take that step, and also give us just your insight on diversity right now in Hollywood. Well, what I would say is, my advice to young people is always, get in, get coffee, get lunch, don't be worried about getting your own show on the air right now. You don't know how to run it, so it's going to get taken away from you. So don't do that. Instead, be like in the room where it happens. Where it happens. <laughs> and just try to glean all that knowledge, because people are dropping science left and right if you're there to pick it up. But if you're too busy about your own self and your own ego, you won't pick it up at all. The writers, directors, men and women, how, I, wh 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 where did you get that inspiration? How do you approach each project? Last question. How do I approach each project? To or, or how did you approach, you know, you're, when, you're, when you're writing, creating, do you sit down and uh, do you base it off of something real all the time? You know, where do you pull from? I pull from emotional truth. It's always about how do I really feel. And I go inside and I, and I bring it out. Well, thank you for bringing it out today and we appreciate your time. And best of luck with you, Brandon. You too. God bless both of you. All right, thank you.